This house in Greenwood was leveled to its foundation. The only thing left standing, two toilets and a refrigerator. You never expect to go through something like this. You never expect to walk out of your door and it's just barely raining. And then a few hours later, there is no front door anymore. Stacy Warrington was having dinner with friends Saturday night when she got a frantic call from her neighbor. She said, honey, you got to get home right now. She said, your house is gone. She said, there's nothing left but your truck. And I said, yeah, OK, it's April Fool's like April Fool's. But it wasn't a joke. Warrington's house on Fawn Road was one of three dozen homes destroyed or damaged in Sussex County. If I was home, I don't think I would be here. I mean, there was just no it was just flattened all the way across. Governor John Carney toured Warrington's house and a facility run by the Delaware Department of Transportation, where the damage is estimated at $5 million. The governor confirms one man was killed in a house that collapsed, the first tornado death in the state since 1983. We're really incredibly lucky. Uh, lucky that more lives weren't lost. The state is working to get assistance from FEMA and help residents who have been forced from their homes. As for Warrington, she's staying with her parents till she gets back on her feet. Residents now left to salvage what they can from this tangled mess. In Greenwood, Madeline Wright, CBS News, Philadelphia.